Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are very very close to getting all of our investments down over this way done. Incredibly incredibly close. Some of these are completed for the current tech level but not all of them are that are that way just yet. Now this guy is 70 years old and he's in poor health. He's going to die at any time here. Is this a real faction? No it's not. Okay, so he's going to die at any time. And when he does, we're going to have problems. What problems are we going to have? Well, we're going to lose the Magrabian and Persian empires. So those are going to have to be reconquered. And we'll want to reconquer them fairly quickly, really. So that's all fine. We can actually restore accolades. And I would love to do that. Am I just blind here? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. So that'll be fine. Which accolades are we going to be able to restore? Why does this guy not have a level? He's rank zero. Okay, well, sure. I guess that'll do it. So we currently have the Panther of Kuleis here. Ah, surprise part. Cool. We'll take a large gift. We got a lucky Bedouin coin. I believe we already had one of those. Indeed. We should consider getting some repairs done here, shouldn't we? We probably should. I'm going to repair our bow, our regalia, and our lucky sow coin. Now, do we want to replace this with our new lucky Bedouin coin? Hmm... Yes, I think so. So we replace that there, no problem. Now, of course, we have a lot of buildings finishing up. We need to continue to construct here. That still is top priority, at least until this guy dies. After his death, we'll see. We're, we're probably going to do a little bit of warring at that point. But for now, I definitely want to get as much built as possible. Now, a lot of these are... Wait, hang on. What's going on here? So we've got a kid with smallpox having an extramarital affair? Oh, he's accusing our spy master of having an extramarital affair. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I was very confused there for a moment. I was like, I'm fairly certain someone of that age is not capable of doing that in this game. But uh, th that's probably for the best. We just discovered trebuchets. Now, we really probably should get rid of our mangonels at this point. So we ditch the mangonels and we create trebuchets. These are unstationed right now, and we can't really bump that up in any meaningful way in terms of how much progress it would get right now, but we are going to think about doing that in Mecca and at Taif. We do want to get these restationed, and we're going to want to increase the size of these up to maximum as soon as we can, which, honestly, that's going to go pretty quick. We're finishing up a lot of our constructions, and that is a bit of a financial crunch for us, to be sure. But I do want to get this trebuchet upgrade done as soon as possible. So, there we go. There's our income. And next month tick, we should get this up to size 12. Which would be perfect. Come on, month tick. You can do it. There we go. Size 12. Okay, so there's our siege men-at-arms upgraded. Now, we are going to be boosting those somewhat in Mecca and at Taif. Now, we're probably going to end up replacing, like, the small horse ranches. And we don't have those here. What would it end up being, even? Coops? Probably coops. Okay. Well, we can certainly sell trivial titles, and this guy is going to bring us 55 gold. So let's draw up our writs of honor. Wonderful. Hmm. He can be respected by peers. I don't care about that. So we have a good amount of cash at this point, and we're just going to look to spend that. Not like that's going to be hard at this point. We're already spent down. So that's absolutely great. Now, I kind of want to look at these. Yeah, this needs additional upgrades. Okay. 
I was going to say, we can start... Wrong type of holding. Temple holdings cannot be effectively held by characters with clan governments. Since when? Interesting. Well, we'll upgrade the camelry here regardless. Windmill water, meal, water wheels, even, have been constructed in Mecca, and that's absolutely fine. I want to check up over here. Is this maxed? No, we need cash. But it's very close to being maxed. It's just this barracks. So this is now maxed. This is not yet. We'll get there. Checking in on our technology. Advanced bow making is going to be done in four years. And beyond that... What is even... Oh, land grants are exposed. Right, okay. Cool. Cool. We have a stewardship perk available. We'll take divided attention. That will, of course, allow us to take back a couple of these castles. Or these two locations. Let's see what we've got for, for odds here. 77 and 100. So we'll take the 100% chance. Beautiful. We're going to want to hand out this mosque. Yeah, we're able to hold that mosque. Interesting. We want to hand out the mosque, but for now, I'm going to keep it ourselves. Until such a time as we take over this castle holding, right? And actually, the mosque generates more taxes than the castle holding. But these would directly report to us at that point, and that might be worthwhile. Rather than this indirect situation that we've got going on here right now. It might be slightly better. So if we were to revoke this title, we'd have a 63% chance. We could send this guy a gift, but honestly, I think we'll just keep it like this. It's okay for now. So up in Mecca, we're definitely going to want to upgrade our caravansary. Wonderful. And things are so expensive to upgrade at this point. It's kind of insane how expensive they are, actually. Like 915 for this cattle pasture? We're still going to do it. Customs offices built in Yanbu. Like, we're making so much money, though, at the same time. Yes, it's a little bit painful because these upgrades are very, very expensive. But for the moment, we're getting so much out of them that I do think it's very worthwhile. So continuing to upgrade cattle pastures here. This should be maxed. This should be maxed as well. I believe we can upgrade our caravansary here. But we're almost done in Herat Rahat. Because this is maxed out right now. So I believe all we need here is our caravansary upgrade. Down in Nataif, I'm going to upgrade our camelry. There we go. We just finished a faith conversion task, and we should probably continue to work on that. We know that we have a bunch of areas out here that do need to get converted. So there we go. And down over here, actually, this can't be upgraded. That needs cranes. Okay. So we're actually done in Harat Rahat. Cool. I didn't actually expect to be done with Harat Rahat first. But okay, we'll take it. This is complete. This is going to need more. This is complete. Sure, we'll enter the royal court. What do we got here? My apologies. You were saying? And 225 gold. Cool. Very rare to actually get gold out of that, but that's absolutely fine. We'll get this barracks upgrading. And this barracks upgrading. Beautiful. That is absolutely great. Smallpox? Who is this guy? He is a guest. We are... Isolate him and pray for redemption. We are going to dismiss him. Get out of here. No more smallpox in our court. Thank you very much. We could do a grand wedding. I'm not going to do that. I want to spend our gold on other things for right now. We've got plenty of things to spend our gold on. We're safe from smallpox. Yep, that's not shocking. And this is maxed out for right now. This is maxed out. This is maxed out. This is not. And K-Bar is, actually. We're getting a lot closer. We can probably get these maxed out this episode yet. 
and that would be amazing or very very close to it don't worry we'll have everyone pay so we're going to come down over here and upgrade these guilds. We've got Yanbu, where we're going to upgrade cattle pastures. What else do we need to build in? Well, we know that Hurat Rahat is done. We can upgrade guilds down here. That's very expensive. But it is still worth doing. Absolutely. Okay, these are maxed out. Ataif is... Is this going to be maxed out? Yes, it is. So this... This county here is actually done. Cool. We can check down over this way. This is going to need a little bit more. You look maxed. You're going to need a little more. Apiaries have been constructed. Sure. So you're maxed. You're maxed. And you are not all that close, to be honest. We're going to need quite a lot more there. Okay. Our friend died. That's very sad. Okay. This guy gained a hook on us? Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. Are we planning on going to war with this fine gentleman here? The answer is no. Not right now. So we'll take his money. And that sounds good. No, that is definitely too expensive. So we're going to hop up over this way. We definitely need to upgrade this trade port. Oh, this is Russian culture. Wait, hold on. She is Russian. I'm going to revoke the title from her. And we're going to grant it to someone who is of the correct religion and culture. So I don't know why the game does this. I've noticed this in previous campaigns where we just get random Russian mayors. I'm not sure if that was like a thing. Or if it's just weird. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's certainly unusual to me. But that might be a, a historical thing that is being modeled. I don't know. Regardless, we don't want Russian culture to be in control of this because they can't upgrade their coops far enough. So we're definitely not going to keep her in charge there. Now, we've got a bunch of locations to continue to upgrade. This is now maxed out. So we should have this county completely done now. We know that we're done up here in Herat Rahat. Kbar just finished construction. This should be done. This is not done yet. Done. 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 Okay. So we can grab Architect here, which will, of course, reduce our cost and increase, or rather reduce the amount of time and reduce the cost of these constructions, which will be very, very good. I don't know why this guy can't hold this. But I feel like I should revoke it from him. And now we'll grant it out to someone who hopefully can hold it. Yeah, I, I don't know why that's different there, but whatever. We're 14 out of 13 domain right now. Did we just lose a wife? No. Did we just lose a counselor? No. Okay, remarkable. We'll get that upgrade going. I'm not sure why we're at 14 out of 13, but we can grant out... See, we have a stationed object there. We can probably grant this as our best location to grant out. Okay, sounds good. So that's absolutely fine. Somebody's upset with us. That's not unusual. <laughs> we are, after all, a polarizing figure. Wow, we just dropped our domain limit again. But that was because our steward died. So we'll put this guy in and that should solve the problem. Cool. Cool. What else do we need? Well, a camel re-upgrade will be fine. Cool. And we just inherited this location. Cool. So we can actually get this back. Done. We also inherited some gold out of that, which is absolutely magnificent. And I'd like to get some additional upgrades going. We are starting to run low on locations to construct the upgrades. We're definitely getting close to getting these maxed out. So coming down over this direction, we could certainly get an upgrade here and we can get an upgrade here. Desert agriculture, wonderful. What else do we want? Let's see, we're maxed here and here. 
Merchant Halls in Mecca. Okay. Mecca has a long ways to go, right? We're only getting up to level four on everything here. We still have a lot of upgrades to do in Mecca. So we're probably not going to get Mecca exactly done this episode. That's going to take a while to get constructed. But we're definitely hitting caps on a lot of these locations. And that's really, really good. I'm very happy to see that. We're going to have problems when this guy dies. And honestly, I'm surprised he hasn't already. But we'll milk him as long as we can. Military stables have been constructed down here. Yes, show in this guy and his 415 gold. Beautiful. So this is now maxed out, actually. Nothing really that we can do there. We're about to get advanced bow making. 54 days on that. And, oh, we just inherited a mosque, I think? Oh, no, this castle. Okay. We'll grant that out. We don't actually want to hold that. That's fine for the moment. We do need to build over here in Yanbu. And there's advanced bow making. So now we need to grab perhaps... A Perhaps, well, heraldry or knighthood are the only two options. High partition would be nice. That's eight years out. Odds are extremely low that this guy will get to take advantage of high partition. But we'll give it a go. Maybe. Maybe he'll get there. Okay, this castle needs some upgrades. No doubt about that. And that's the only thing up in K-Bar that really does need upgrades. So we're getting really close here. We have a few locations that need a lot of gold poured into them still. But that's going to be over a fairly long period of time. Now, over here in Ataif, I definitely want to think about ditching the small horse ranches. And we're going to replace that with what? Well, it's going to be with workshops, actually. Because that gives us the station men-at-arms siege progress and the station siege weapon effectiveness. And that gives taxes. Out of curiosity, once we get that to level 6, which would require royal armory, we can get it to level 5, 1.1. That's a definite upgrade here. So we'll get that going. And we're going to have to swap out probably the coops in Mecca for that. So that's going to delay Mecca even further. So that is certainly noted. Looking through up over here, this just finished up. Okay, no major issues there. We can certainly build a trade port. But we're running out of places to put this gold within our own realm. And that's a really good problem to have. We're very pleased about that. Blacksmith districts have constructed in Mecca. I'm going to replace our cattle pastures now with workshops. We'll get that going. That'll take two years. That is understood. I really want to spend money on more constructions. Just checking through here, we know that a lot of these are maxed, right? That's for sure. We can get this cattle pasture upgraded. That's absolutely fine, and that'll max that out. Cool. We've still got some work to do there. We can upgrade this camelry. That is nice and expensive. Training grounds in Waj. Cool. We'll upgrade our coops. What else can we do? This is all maxed for the moment, at least until this gets built. Yeah, there's only so much that we can invest this in at this point. And we're making so much money. It's a good problem to have. A good, good problem to have. Things are going to get a lot spicier when this guy dies. We'll sell trivial titles as soon as we can, which is literally right now. True friend indeed. And we're just banking up cash for the moment. We can invest that in other locations, right? It's not a problem to do that. I'm just avoiding it for the time being because I want to put the money into our personal realm for our own personal game. But... We're definitely reaching the limits of what we can do here. There are solid arguments to be made that we should be spending this money on holding upgrades out over here. Some of these are rented out to holy orders, which is awkward, but 
We'll get some of that going. Medina will prosper from the herd. Cool. And we're going to grab meritocracy at this point. Okay, so Yanbu just finished its construction. We're going to build a barracks there. What else can we build in? We're running out of spots to build, for sure. Are we actually done in Medina? We're actually done in Medina. Wow. We're capped on all of these. Okay. Wonderful. So that, of course, means that we need more in this mosque. But this mosque is the only remaining location in Medina that we need to put any money. Okay. We can certainly upgrade this mosque here. No doubt about that. And we should finish up construction here pretty soon, I would think. Awaj is going to require a camelry, and we'll put that in. We can certainly get more upgrades going down this direction. We finished up shooting ranges at Ataif, and we're going to continue to build those. Max here. Ah, guild upgrade. Cool. I actually expected our camelry here to be done by now. 15 days? Okay. Cool. So the only things that we can upgrade here is our infirmaries and our camelry, but we'll definitely get going on that. And we needed one more upgrade here. We are now done, I believe, in K-Bar. Okay, we gained a stress level. Sure. We were near death there when we were up the stress level. We're gonna die soon, right? And we got a bad omen, which is giving us dying as well. Now, I'm actually shocked that we've survived this long. I really, really am. Oh. Well, this is grim. We've had some additional suns since last I looked. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a little bit of disinheritance here. I'm going to clean this up a bit. We're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to get rid of this guy. And this is expensive to disinherit these like this. This guy is preferred by a lot of different types of people. So now we're going to come in here and disinherit you. We're going to disinherit you. Apparently we need to do this. Apparently he would still get that. Oh, because it's not created. Okay, we'll deal with that in a moment. And then we need to disinherit you. Actually, that's not a problem. In theory. So everything should be inherited by this guy. Everybody prefers him. And we're probably going to die very, very soon. We should demand what payments we can right now. There we go. And we should invest whatever gold we can as well. So we can certainly get a camelry upgrade going over here. K-Bar is done. We know that for a fact. Are we done in Yanbu now? Not quite. This mosque needs a little bit more. Okay. Medina is very, very close to done, but we're not quite there. We know we're done in, in, Rahat, in Herat Rahat, so no problem there. At Taif needs a little bit of upgrade work. And we could certainly get a camelry upgrade over here. There. That'll do. So we're going to die quite soon, right? I'm honestly shocked we've lived this long. We're milking this life as long as we can right now, and we're getting huge dividends out of it, to be honest. Yes, show in this guy. He'll give us some renown. That will make back some of what we just spent on cleaning up our succession. It was not amazing, to be honest. It was very not amazing, cleaning up our succession like that. We can get a cattle pasture upgrade going up here in Waj. And, yep, that's good to go. There's only a few locations that we need to keep upgrading. We're very, very close now. Mecca is about to finish up over here. But Mecca has a really long ways to go. Like a really, really, really long ways to go. 40 days left on that, and we're going to be dead literally any time now. So we're just going to continue spending down our cash and preparing for the inevitable. I want to just double check our succession. Cool. Training grounds done in Yanbu. Yanbu is now maxed. Shooting ranges in Mecca. We should certainly work on upgrading that. 
So Mecha has a really long ways to go, but there we go. We did, in fact, die. So that is not shocking at all. Let's find ourselves a secondary spouse with high stewardship. This is really, really crappy high stewardship. What have you got? 18? Okay. Let's put you over onto managed domain. Let's put in a steward here. Let's put in a chancellor. We're just going to do something like this for now. And we're going to choose a we're, we're marshal background. That's probably okay. We're very, very close to having everything maxed out, right? How much are we making right now? 225? And we've got overseer basically done right now. I think this is fine. Which of these do we want to take, though? I think we'll go for strategy focus. Cool. So we have a perk that we can choose? Yes. Bellum Justin. Fantastic. So we are over our domain limit, but what I wanted to do there was I wanted to find somebody... Okay, can we go in this direction? Find spouse. Really? 13 stewardship is the highest we've got. Okay. Well, she's a genius, so I guess that'll do. Okay. Seems like this is going to be a pretty clean succession so far. So that's absolutely great. Now, I would really like to find a higher stewardship wife. That would be good. We can, of course, grant this out. And we could even grant this out. And that would be absolutely fine. That gets us down to 11 of 11. We can retract those if we need to. However, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to definitely wrap up our investment projects. But we are also going to go back to war. This guy is going to be much better set up for going to war than our previous life. And, like, we're doing really, really well here, right? We're, we're doing incredibly well because of those investments. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.